Have you ever wondered how to make the perfect spaghetti carbonara? Picture this. You're at the stove, the aroma of garlic and pancetta wafting through the air, a creamy sauce simmering in anticipation. Cooking isn't just about nourishment, it's an art, a delightful dance of flavors and textures. It's a way to express creativity, to experiment and surprise. It's about the joy that comes from making something delicious from scratch. So, are you ready to dive into the culinary world? Well, you're about to find out. Before we get started, here's what you'll need. First things first, a pack of spaghetti. No spaghetti carbonara without the spaghetti, right? Next up, we have the star of the show, guanciale. That's an Italian cured meat product, similar to bacon, but oh so much better. Don't forget the cheese, we're going to need pecorino romano. The sheep's milk cheese is sharp and salty, perfect for our carbonara. Now let's talk about eggs, we'll need two large ones. They're going to help create that creamy, dreamy sauce we all love. And of course, we can't forget about the basics, salt and pepper, just enough to season and bring out all those divine flavors. Last but not least, a clove of garlic and a pinch of red pepper flakes. These are optional, but add a nice kick to the dish. Got everything? Excellent, time to cook. Scene script, first things first, prep your ingredients. Now folks, preparing your ingredients is like laying the foundation of a house. It's crucial to the success of your dish. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. We'll begin with the garlic. You'll want to peel it and chop it up real fine. The smaller the pieces, the more flavor they'll release. Next up is the parsley. Give it a good wash under cold running water. Then chop it up as well. Remember, the finer you chop, the more flavor you get. Now let's turn our attention to the cheese. We're grating it here, so you'll want to hold your grater at an angle and apply a bit of pressure. You're aiming for fluffy, feather-like cheese bits that will melt seamlessly into your sauce. And lastly, the eggs. We're only needing the yolks for this recipe, so gently crack your egg and separate the yolk from the white. You can do this by passing the yolk back and forth between the two shell halves until all the white has dripped away. There you have it, folks. All your ingredients are prepped and ready to go. You see, preparing your ingredients isn't just about getting them ready for the pot. It's about infusing love and care into every step of your cooking journey. Great. Now we're ready to start cooking. Now, this is where the magic happens. Picture this, folks. We've got a pot of boiling water, and into that, we're going to plunge our pasta. We're not just cooking it, no sir, we're coaxing out its flavors, letting it soften and soak up that salty water. As it bubbles away, let's turn our attention to the pan. In goes the bacon, sizzling and popping, filling the air with that irresistible aroma. We're frying it up until it's crispy, but not too crispy. We want a little bit of chew in there for texture. Now let's scoot that bacon to one side and make room for our garlic. We're just giving it a light saute, just until it starts to golden and release its pungent, mouth-watering scent. We're not done yet, though. Remember that egg mixture we whipped up earlier? It's time to bring it into play. We're going to take our hot, drained pasta and toss it right into the pan with the bacon and garlic. Then off the heat, we pour in our egg mix. The residual heat from the pasta and pan will cook the egg just enough to create a creamy, luscious sauce. A sprinkle of cheese, a crack of pepper, and there you have it. Stir it all together, let the flavors meld, and you've got yourself a symphony of taste in a single dish. And voila, you've just made a delicious spaghetti carbonara. So what have we learned today? We've discovered the delightful simplicity of spaghetti carbonara, a culinary masterpiece born from basic ingredients. We've stepped through the process from preparing our ingredients to the final sizzle in the pan, crafting a vibrant, flavorful dish. And in every step, we found fun and creativity, proving that anyone can master this recipe. So, go ahead, try it for yourself. Remember, cooking is an art, so have fun and get creative with it. Until next time, happy cooking.